Welcome. Welcome viewers to another reading from Just Be Tarot. So today I'm going to do something I was doing a while back, which is just one singular tarot reading. And it's going to be a series of questions from a spread from this book, 365 tarot spreads. And it's going to be a relationship word. Surprise, surprise. I think those ones are fun. They're all fun. But anyway. And um, it's going to be called Lord Shiva's Find a Mate spread. So the decks I'm going to use are this beautiful deck, lots of pink in today's reading. I just love it. Um, I'm going to use the Muse Tarot. Lots of colorful cards, really pretty. And then the Deviant Moon for um, clarification. So this one is actually my, one of my top three favorite decks. If you've never seen it before, it's amazing. Um, lots of detailed images, uh, like the Black Cat's Tarot, which is really nice to have. So we'll do that. So here we go. Look at those pictures. They're so cool. <clears throat> so there's Hi. Come back. Another tarot card reading. I'll ask that you please do angels of divine love and light. Please bless these decks. Would you have any negative or heavy energies that will never serve us and pass them away? Would you like to what you make? And please bless these cards and fill them with your divine love and light. Guidance, wisdom, answers, peace, and truth for the viewers' ultimate highest good and for all those concerned. So here we go. Oopsie, sorry about that. Okay, so, oh, let's close this card to the moon divine love and light guidance. Okay, so here we go. The questions are as follows. And remember to hit the description box and the timestamp to skip all uh, this whole intro. So this is going to be if you're not in a relationship. So all my singles out there, how you doing? The questions are, what three characteristics should I look for in a mate? So what should you look for? What must heal from a previous relationship? What unrealistic expectation must I release? Where will I meet my soulmate? What is his or her best quality? Why will we be happy together? And what should I focus on in the meantime? So these are the questions I'm going to ask. Can't really see that from anyway. So let's start. I need a bookmark first. Bookmark, bookmark. Um, oh, this. So here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine questions. So first, what three characteristics should the viewer look for in a mate? So choose this. What three characteristics should the viewers look for in a mate? Let's get three cards. <laughs> Sorry. And the next one is what must heal from the previous relationships of angels? Isn't that pretty the little vines? I think it's apple and the tree too. Um, what must heal from the previous relationship of angels? What must heal from the previous relationship? That was quick. What 
unrealistic what unrealistic expectations the viewer has. his or her best quality. So here we go. The reading starts. <laughs> so first question: What three characteristics should you be looking for in a mate? What three characteristics? So okay, interesting. We've got the Devil card, Muse of Inspiration, and the Tower. Okay. So what I'm getting right here is what you should be looking for. For your future mate three characteristics is basically someone that's a little bit daring a little bit adventurous a little bit exciting someone that's gonna really kind of push themselves in all avenues so we have the tower card and the devil card now normally those two are kind of negative cards but that's not how I'm reading them at this time. This is just someone that's going to be a daredevil. And also, too, someone that's going to be not afraid of of anything, basically. So, uh, three characteristics specifically. This. Okay, someone who ha is very passionate and inspired. Okay, so look, you don't want to look for, for that. And for sort of this daredevil type of... Um, personality it's exciting and adventure seeking and someone that's not going to be afraid or let things in their environment really bring them down like let's say things are in their environment it's not going too well um, they're going to be able to stay strong okay so you want someone really strong and independent daredevil like um, fun and exciting and someone who's going to be inspired to so for you, the viewer watching this, if this sounds like someone you want, then this most likely is a reading for you. So maybe in your past relationships, you've gone with sort of like a safe bet. Some of them might check all the boxes and just be good, you know, and, and that's really awesome. You know, you want someone good, right? But maybe for you, this person watching, um, maybe it's going to be something different that's going to be in your next relationship, something new and exciting and fun that maybe you haven't had before. Let's get the clarification and or confirmation. We've got the Ten of Swords. Okay. It might have been someone, someone who in the past was very like tormented, okay, like anxiety ridden and um, 
fearful and easily agitated, but has sort of turned a new leaf, has found inspiration in their life through people around them or just the divine or anything really. Okay, so that's what I'm getting with this. I think it's most likely a person that's been plagued with fears in their past and they've sort of been able to get right through it. So it's made them stronger. It's made them a stronger person. Okay. So those are, those are um, three characteristics that you should look for in a mate. So maybe someone's, this person's not perfect, right? Maybe they have a past or a history that you know, you normally wouldn't go for, uh, okay, so, anyway, that's that, let's go on to the next one, so the next question was, what must heal from a previous relationship, so what must heal from your previous relationship, so page of materials, so that's the page of coins, <laughs> so what must heal for you from a previous relationship is butting heads, kind of arguing for nothing. So you can see these two guys here, kind of butting heads, the, the swords, but they're actually one person, which might describe you and your person in that previous relationship, sort of butting heads. That's, that's what needs to end, okay, like s just being stubborn, stubbornness. You know, okay, if you were stubborn in a past relationship, that's what needs to end if you want to find your person and also too we've got the page of materials the page of pentacles this is a really pretty picture here right now but her face is covered with this rose right here so what <clears throat> um, must then from a previous relationship is uh, maybe materialistic ways maybe you were thinking about when you were with that person, all the things you could acquire together, like a fancy house, a fancy car, or this or that. So that's another thing that the angels are recommending that you put an end to when it comes to your next relationship. Release the stubbornness and release the materialistic ways. That's what the, the cards say. Hmm. And the next question was, what um, unrealistic expectation must I release? What unrealistic expectation must you release? Eight of emotions. Seven of cups. Unrealistic expectation. Okay. The unrealistic expectation you need to release is always thinking there might be something better or someone better. Okay? That's something that's coming through the cards. You see this one? The seven of cups. She has... Her two cups right here are not up with all her other cups, and even though she has all these other cups, she's like, no, I'm not. I don't want. I don't want you. I don't want to look at you. Pay attention to. You. So she feels like she's missing some. She feels like she's missing some. But all she needs to do is turn around, look, and admire the, of uh, all the cups that she has. And then this one, eight of emotions. I'm just getting that this person walking on this this desert is looking for something you see she's just walking and walking looking and searching so an unrealistic expectation that you need to release is that you're going to find like this perfect person and if they might have a little it might be a little rough around the edges as per question one you might think um negatively or or start doubting that person or relationship so you need to admire what you have, okay? And admire this person and don't think, oh, I wish they wouldn't do this or wouldn't do that. Stuff like that. Or I can find someone better. Well, but then again, maybe you can, right? You'll, you'll know more when you meet this person. But if you're... Let's say you really like the person and it's really going well these sort of doubts creep up maybe realize that it's just part of your past like nature to think that way so yeah that's pretty much it the next one was um, what is his or her best quality what is his or her best quality six of inspiration we've got another inspiration card here 
So this person is going to be just very inspired, which is really a beautiful thing. And then we've got the okay, five of cups. Okay, so um, the most interesting quality or best quality of the person you're going to match up with in in your future is that they're inspired by nature they're inspired by love they're inspired by what brings them passion they're inspired by the divine okay and if anyone tells them otherwise they're not listening <laughs> so it's like this little guy here nah, nah, i'm not listening yell all you want okay so that's what i'm getting from these images and these cards is that a person's best quality is just that that they're super confident and independent and they don't care what people say and that's maybe something you might want to take more like this previous question here is this um, wishing for and hoping for something better maybe it's just based on what your friends tell you or what other people around you tell you you know maybe, maybe you really like the person that you're gonna be with and but your friends or family are telling you like putting them down or things like that you have to be strong like this person and choose to ignore if that's what best suits you if you really love this person that's going to come into your life. Then why will we be happy together? So why will you be happy together? <laughs> Hanged muse and judgment. Okay. <laughs> so maybe you'll be able to prove to the naysayers um, that this love is really strong. And you got the judgment card here. Basically, you get what you deserve and it's going to be something good. And... You'll be happy together too because you're going to be different. I think your personalities are going to be very different. Both good and passionate people. Strong. This person might even be a little too strong for you. That's a possibility. But you'll know more. And, and more than one person is most likely going to watch this. Maybe none. Sometimes that happens. But anyway, that's what I'm getting. And, and you'll be happy together because you'll be like this this girl here hanging off this rope dangling looking at things from different angles different perspectives having fun while you're doing it see she's hanging over the mountains with with platforms on and she's totally safe and calm and comforted by the universe okay so you'll be happy together because you'll just be a really good match and you're gonna be different different bring out each other's differences too you might even be able to bring out a, this person's softer side, even though I'm pretty sure they've already gotten there. But <clears throat> that's really cute. And then, what should you focus on in the meantime? <laughs> Ace of Inspiration. So, another inspiration card. Um, new beginnings. So, in the meantime, you should focus on, hmm, maybe, maybe I do want something different this time around some more action, some more adventure, some more fun, more Bonnie and Clyde. I'm not recommending to go shoot some places up or anything like that, but just that ride or die, you know, together no matter what, unconditional love, strong bond. And then here you have the five, six, seven, eight of pentacles and this just guy working away. So the angels are telling you in the meantime, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, focus on your work, focus on your family, your friends, just everything inside of your bubble and try not to think too much about the future. Just stay in the moment and find different ways, um, different things that bring you, you more inspiration. So maybe you're artistic or creative, um, maybe you're just a foodie and you really like food. Like focus on your passions and also focus on your work day to day and then before you know it your person might come so that's it the reading is done I hope you enjoyed and at the very least I hope you enjoyed looking at these beautiful cards they're just gorgeous I really liked matching these together um, but yeah so that's it I will post another video soon and thank you so much for watching and commenting and subscribing and we'll talk soon bye